the gallery was in operation for two years. And it was, um, I think I made the rent or broke even maybe twice in two years. Art galleries are hard. And I'm not an experienced businesswoman. What led to the gallery closing was ultimately a fraudulent cashier's check. I was really excited. I thought I sold a painting and it would have been the painting that made me break even. It would have paid the rent next month. The red flag was that they sent me more than the painting was worth. They sent me extra money to pay for shipping. It was a cashier's check. I took it to my bank. I didn't get my hopes up until I took the check to the bank. And I thought that when they scanned the check and put the money in my account, I thought that that was the check clearing. I didn't know that it could still bounce. Where's she going? And it was just like, it was the final straw. When I got conned, my, the thought that went through my head was, I'm going to blow my head off at the morgue. That's, that's where my mind went. That was the state of mind I was in. So I was still going to counseling and I opened up to my, I opened up to my therapist about what I was thinking. The therapist sent me back to Ward 7. Um, I went of my own free will, sort of. What they basically told me was, you can, you can go of your own free will or we can get a court order. So I went voluntarily, but it was, it was voluntarily, but it was like, do it or else. I didn't know that I needed it, but I did. And while I was there, I made friends with, of course, more veterans who were patients there. And I think I had three days to get out of the gallery. Anyway, one of those veterans I got out with when we got out on the same day, he came to the gallery and he immediately started helping me move out. He made it easy. I couldn't even be upset because something, an experience I was going through that was so hard, my fellow veterans stepped in and made it, made it, as easy as it could be. My fellow veterans are the ones who have ultimately helped me. I'm doing so much better now. The physical gallery is closed, but I still have the online gallery. I'm still selling artwork online. That art gallery that I opened was something beautiful that I could give back to the community. I wanted to be part of the community and it was a wonderful experience. And I got to work with other veterans and other artists and support great causes. We never raised that much money doing fundraisers, but it wasn't nothing. It was, it was good to gather with the community. It was, good. it was good for the community while it lasted. It's okay that it didn't work. I can try something else. I'm still going to make art and I'm still going to work with fellow veterans who want to be creative. So to summarize, I'm a veteran with PTSD and the VA hospital here has saved my life and helped me become whole again. I don't have the gallery anymore, but I don't need it either. I can't believe how far I've come. I can't believe how much the VA has helped me. I'm not a victim anymore. There's something there, there is hope. <laughs>